Good morning everyone, or evening, whenever you're watching this in the future. Hello future people. Um, right, anyway, uh, this is one I, I I was just doodling and, oh, uh, not airbrushing, hang on. I'll doodling and just get the opacity in the right state. Here we go. And I drew a farmer's hat and it was in a cow pat. The drawing of the farmer's hat was in a cow pat. Uh, like so. And when I drew it, I thought, oh, that looks like a traffic cone. So I drew a traffic cone in my little sketchbook that I carry around with me everywhere. Always carry a sketchbook around with you if you're doing jokes and things because you come up with ideas and they might not be good ones but uh, you look back on them sometimes you go oh, hang on a minute I could turn this into another joke so always have a sketchbook if you're an artist or what have you anyway that's my little bit of free advice there so I drew this traffic cone probably better than I'm drawing it now actually <laughs> see what I'm <coughs> what I'm doing is I'm just amending lines as I do them uh, I was quite happy with the first bit but not the second um, here we go just take that off I do like it to look a bit kind of last minute I was going to say dot com but that's rubbish I hate people who do that uh, well, I don't hate them I just I just pity them but anyway so I drew this traffic cone and then I put it on one of my farmer's characters heads and the reason for this will be clear well it wasn't clear when I drew it but I drew it on this farmer's head like so and then um, I drew another farmer which you'll see in a second uh, hang on let's go back sometimes you need to go back and just see what you're drawing and that's all a bit wonky donks so <coughs> hang on a second I will move him along. That's the beauty of Photoshop, is you can uh, adjust things. That's a bit better, but maybe he needs to go up a bit. Like that. Maybe the nose isn't big enough. Always ask yourself questions. Be critical. Um, because people are going to see it, and they're going to be much, much worse than you. So you've got to kind of look at with fresh eyes at what you're drawing all the time and go hang on a minute does this look right does that look right keep asking yourself questions and sometimes that's the way to make it look better but also don't ask yourself too many questions because sometimes you get kind of stuck uh, trying to make something look perfect and you've got to know when to stop but that comes with experience blah de blah de blah anyway so I've got this farmer uh, just sort of standing there not doing a lot looking a bit kind of frazzled I guess uh, just nip that off uh, I've got him on a separate level to this hat uh, what could the joke be? anyway so uh, do the legs if I can draw correctly uh, with his welly boots on like that I might actually cheat and use the body for the other guy as well actually <laughs> times are ticking so uh, I like to try and get these done in about 10 minutes <coughs> It's not always possible because sometimes I do like cartoon strips and things, but uh, when I'm actually videoing these, uh, I think I've only got about 10 or 15 minutes to, to get it done, otherwise you run out of, uh, well, you're not allowed to do more than 10 or 15 minutes, I think. Right, so got him there. I'm just going to uh, start doing the face for the other guy. like so 
and he's talking, he's the one delivering the punchline. Um, I must uh, sort of apologise to farmers, really, because I know you don't dress like this. Um, <coughs> it's not my intention to make fun of you. Uh <laughs> it might be, but, you know, don't take it personally. It's just um, a bit of fun. Um, <laughs> you know, cows don't stand up and talk and grass doesn't speak and all that sort of fun stuff. Um, and also, actually, I've people have said to me, you d sometimes you don't have cows in your world of cow and what I say is well it is the world of cow you see and these are characters that are in that world so yeah gotcha on the technicality so yeah okay so I'm not I know um, <coughs> the reason I, I started doing world of cow was to just do cows and keep it kind of um, limited but you know it branched out and uh, I, I found new characters in it. It uh, it evolved, which I thought was a beautiful thing. Anyway, so here we go. Bing, 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 bing. So we got him there. And I'm just gonna. Yeah, that, that's about right. Uh, so I'm happy with where they are. I'm gonna do another level and just draw a bit of grass, like <laughs> so. And as I've said to you, I'd like to sort of now. If you look at back at my first uh, cow drawings, I mean the first probably 600. The grass I drew was kind of like that, but I've sort of decided to give it a bit of uh, shape and character. Um, you know what? I mean, I think doing this, uh, even though you know I don't get a lot of money for it at all, probably maybe uh, five pound a week. <laughs> I don't know, maybe maybe a little bit more than that, but um, for you know one thousand two hundred odd drawings. Um, it's improved me as a cartoonist, no no doubt. No doubt in my mind that this has uh you know, made me uh work better in Photoshop and even just drawing really. It's it's weird. Um I know it's not like drawing with pen and paper, but actually the techniques you learn in uh something like Photoshop uh translate very nicely to the real world um, and I think actually because you draw more uh, in in Photoshop you're you know you're getting that much more experience sort of condensed um, you know your 10,000 hours or whatever it needs to be you get it much quicker anyway I'm sure I've done more than bloody 10,000 hours worth of cartoon in my telly but anyway right so back to our farmers um, I'm just thinking yeah it's the right way round I've got the guy on the left we look at him first and the guy on the right second which is the kind of the right order in which to do things because uh, your eye as I, I keep saying if you've, you've seen these before goes from left to right so you've got to sort of take that into account as well ask yourself certain questions like is it funny you idiot um, right hang on wrong opacity uh, yep, and let's do the hand. Let's do the hand. <coughs> oh, goodness gracious me! It's early in the morning. Right, just all the grass isn't filled in, so let's just look at that. So I'm using the paint bucket. Blonk, blonk. There you go. There you go. That's all done. Right. So uh, the sort of beige colour. <sighs> like so splot that in and he's going to have lovely green and maybe he can have slightly different sort of green colour yeah barely registers a bit maybe right so just to put him in scene a bit more I'm uh, using the lasso tool like that and then the paint bucket 30% opacity like that uh, that's usually white isn't it I think it is yeah because it sort of shines but uh, it's uh, like a reflector isn't it but I'm just going to put a little bit of shadow on there and I think I'll put a sort of vague wiggly woggly bit of shadow 
on the actual traffic cone as well just to kind of give it a bit of dimension and uh, as it's sitting on his head just to sort of reinforce that a bit of brown 30% uh, I don't just ju choose the colour for shadow I use sort of uh, percentages and it kind of just saves a lot of time because it's kind of organically part it's like a real shadow really uh, of, of the colour you're trying to put a shadow on so if you paint bucket and put an opacity of 30% or something it could be lighter or darker whatever you fancy but it just um, organically is absolutely correct we used to do that in animation um, double exposures and things at certain percentages uh, and it just knocked things back or what have you uh, it's a good way of doing things so um, anyway and it's quite quick as well blah, 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 blah. so <coughs> uh, a bit of brown on him uh, how many minutes are we done oh christ 11 minutes right so the joke is I've been wittering on were you out drinking last night Ta -da! so that's the joke anyway um, I'll, st I'll sort of tidy that up <laughs> it's in the wrong typeface uh, and that's going to be out on Thursday so have a good one and I'll speak to you later bye